This video is about the latest update on Staxio and the list of features and fixes that we have deployed uh, with this version. And for reference and for me to keep track of what I want to show you, I have the post here that uh, Staxio Private Mastermind with the list of things that I want to go through in this video. And let's start with the Street View panorama that is now moved into the Points of Interest tab. So let me go into Staxio here and open up a project that I have just built for this business called Tesouros de India. It's a spice shop in Lisbon and I have enabled points of interest in driving directions on a five and a half uh, kilometer radius around the business. I have selected from and to directions. I have selected driving directions, all of them, best driving, walking, bicycling, transit directions. And what else have I done? Nothing else. All right, I've enabled nothing else. And I have built the project. So I'm going to open the Google Sheet. The Street View Panorama is now moved into the Points of Interest tab, which means let's go into the Points of Interest tab. And there is this new row, the panorama, which is the Street View Panorama link, which we can open. So let's open the first one. So this is the Street View Panorama. For that point of interest. And now we have the driving direction that the, creates a new URL for driving directions, which includes the business name and the place ID. So this is something that we have changed with this update. Um, the structure of the URL for driving directions has changed slightly. Uh, there is a new method that we're using to create the driving directions URLs. And this seems to be a more accurate uh, way of getting directions to and from the business because it includes the business name and the place ID, whereas previously we were using uh, coordinates and GPS coordinates, latitude and longitude, and that would sometimes give not so accurate results on some business locations where Google Maps wasn't able to correctly identify the business uh, just for off of the GPS latitude and longitude coordinates. So having the place ID and the business name seems to be a more accurate way uh, for Google Maps to give us this data for driving directions. And let's take a look at where we have this information. Going to go to the From Directions tab. And you can see I have a column for each of the driving directions that I have selected on the Maps URL builder here, which were best driving, walking, bicycling, and transit best driving, walking, bicycling and transit. So let's do driving and I'm going to open the driving one of the links for driving directions. So this is the business, the Zoros da India to the point of interest Miradouro da Panha de França. And I'm going to open another random one. This is what's that Lisbon walking tours? No. Uh, Memorial. Okay, let's open these drive directions from the business too. And there we have our driving directions from the business here to the point of interest. So this is the second. Yeah, the second uh, on the list of uh, features that uh, I want to go through and now embed codes for driving directions. The embed codes for driving directions are here at the end. 
the iframe embed codes on this row here have one I iframe embed code for each um, of the points of interest. So from the business, we're on the from directions tab. So these iframe embeds are going to be driving directions from the business to the point of interest. And to test these iframe um, embed codes as if you were uh, using them on a web page or your website or anywhere you want to add these iframe codes into, uh, we can copy, I'm going to copy the iframe. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to go to a website called codepen.io. It's a very easy way to test and take a look at what these iframe embed codes are uh, creating. And I'm going to paste the embed code into this HTML tab of CodePen. And CodePen is going to process the iframe and it's going to show me uh, what the actual embed code looks like as if I were to embed this iframe embed code into any other website. Um, and we can see that there is the business. So it's, it's the uh, from the business to <clears throat> the point of interest driving directions. So this is basically, if I go into the Google sheet again, this is basically what we're seeing here on the driving directions link, but embedded into an iframe HTML tag. So basically it's the same thing we're seeing here on this link, straight from Google Maps to this sightseeing spot from the business. Um, CodePen is exactly the same thing from the business to this sightseeing spot, except now we can use this uh, this this image, this this dynamic maps image anywhere we like on the internet. And let me go to again to our list of features. And next on our list of features are more iframe embeds for POI images, for maps images, and for street view panorama uh, images on the iframe embeds tab. So let's take a look at that. So let me go into the Google sheet and into the iframe embeds tab and more embed codes on this column here. So let's extend this a little bit. One for street view, iframe embed code. One for the business, for the map images and the points of interest. So let's test these guys. So I'm going to copy the iframe embed code. I'm going to go into code pan, going to select, I'm going to delete and paste this iframe embed code of the business. And there we go. This is the uh, dynamic iframe embed code, which can be used on any website you like. Let's do another test. Let's do the street view iframe embed code. Copy the iframe embed code. Go into code pen, delete, paste the street view image of the business. There we go. The street view image embed code working as expected. And the these are going to be images, embed codes. So um, two for map and one for points of interest. And these should be the images you see here at the beginning of the Google Sheet. I'm just going to test them also. All right, that is the business. And just as a last example, I'm gonna do the point of interest image here. All right, and there is our image with the list of points of interest that Staxio created for us, which came from with this list here. So 18 points of interest. 
and the image you see in the embed code is this image we got here which is um, the, the exact same uh, iframe embed code also available here on this tab um, and we added the iframe embeds tab with which is like um, a catch-all of all the iframe embeds that uh, got created um, we will probably add these iframe embed codes also into the iframe embeds tab in a future update of Staxio. It's something that we are considering. So probably we're going to see a list of all the iframe embed codes for each uh, point of interest here added into this tab. And that is pretty much what I had, what I wanted to uh, show you guys in this video. So I guess I will see you again on a future video of Staxio. Take care.